This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see man analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data release us is false. Men it gives us a false narrative of the markets so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, Sam Bankman Freed parents are arguing to the court that they did not have any fiduciary responsibility to FTX and FTX should not be able to claw back all the money that they received for, in my opinion, doing absolutely nothing. Okay? He was getting 200000 a year, Sam Bankman's free dad, as a consultant. Okay, 200000 a year. And what was he doing? Absolutely nothing, in my opinion. Okay? He was getting a free check. And then they had 18 million in property in the Bahamas. And they don't want to give back that money. Okay, somehow the work they were doing or he was allegedly doing for FTX entitled him to $18 million to buy a property in the Bahamas with FTX money. And on top of that, FTX donated or FTX group allegedly donated $5.5 million to Stanford University. And Sam Bankman frieds parents, who by now are fully aware that the money was made by robbing investors, and they are arguing in court that they didn't have a fiduciary responsibility and they shouldn't have to turn that money back over to FTX. Now, Stanford has alleged that they are going to return the $5.5 million, but it's been seven, eight months since they said that, and the money still has not been returned. The bottom line is this, in my opinion, and I'm not telling you to buy, hold, sell any stock. I'm not telling you to utilize FTX if they ever come back in business. The one percenters think they can do what they want. They, they think they are above the law. They can rob and steal with no consequences. And when they get caught with their hand in their cookie jar, they feel that they should not be punished. Okay? Could you imagine people embezzling? Could you imagine a regular everyday worker embezzling $18 million from their company? Would it just be a civil lawsuit or would there be criminal charges? In my opinion, Sam Bankman frieds parents are lucky that they haven't been indicted for being engaged to conspire to commit fraud with their son. Okay, they should be lucky. And the fact that they are fighting to return the 18 million, fight to return the 200,000, it tells me that they feel they're entitled to do whatever they want with no consequences like a majority of one percenters do. They feel that the laws only apply to us, okay? They feel the laws are not meant for them. The laws are meant to keep the 99% under control. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think the Sam Bankman freed parents should be forced to return the $18 million they used to buy the property in the Bahamas? And do you think they're lucky they don't have criminal charges also? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.